Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 30th of March. Indian Prime Minister Modi calls on SARC to fight coronavirus. People in Pakistan administered Kashmir live in atmosphere of fear, says activists. And Afghan President Ghani says next government will represent entire nation. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called on SARC member nations to chalk out a strong strategy to fight coronavirus. Modi's proposal comes as positive cases of coronavirus in India rose to 81, with new cases on rise across South Asia. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday called on the leadership of SARC nations to chalk out a strong strategy to fight the deadly coronavirus as the number of new cases in South Asian countries continue to rise. PM Modi also suggested the leaders could discuss via video conferencing the ways to keep citizens healthy. Leaders from SARC member nations including Sri Lanka, Maldives and Nepal welcomed Modi's proposal and said their countries are ready to join the discussion over the deadly virus and take collective measures against it. Meanwhile, a second batch of 44 Indian pilgrims who were evacuated from coronavirus-hit Iran arrived in India's Mumbai city on Friday. This came as all 112 Wuhan evacuees tested negative for coronavirus earlier in the day were allowed to leave a quarantine facility in Indian capital, New Delhi. India on Thursday reported its first death from the deadly virus. The country has reported more than 80 cases so far. News just in. A militant was killed on Friday in a brief encounter with security forces in Baramula district of India's Jammu and Kashmir. The encounter broke out between security forces and militants after security forces launched a cordon and search operation in area based on specific inputs. Moving on. Pakistan's coronavirus tally rose to 21 with a new case confirmed in Sindh province on Friday. Authorities in Sindh have announced all educational institutions will remain closed till May 30th and ongoing cricket league matches will be played in empty stadiums. The number of coronavirus or COVID-19 cases rose to 21 in Pakistan with a 52-year-old patient tested positive in Sindh province on Friday, health authorities confirmed. This came as authorities in Sindh late on Thursday announced closure of all educational institutions in the province till May 30th and imposed a ban on spectators during upcoming Pakistan Super League or PSL matches as precautionary measures. On Thursday, fans were allowed to watch matches in Karachi City, but everyone was thoroughly screened, sprayed with hand sanitizers and given masks before they entered the stadium. जिस तरह से कोरोना चला है तो सेफ्टी तो पूरी दुनिया में उसकी ली जा रही है और बिल्कुल हर एक को लेना चाहिए अब ये तो नहीं करेंगे कि आओ वायरस हमें लग जाओ तो उसकी सेफ्टी तो बिल्कुल हम करेंगे इसलिए हम उसकी सेफ्टी करके हम बाकी जो होना होगा वो अल्लाह अल्लाह को बेहतर पता है द सिंध गवर्नमेंट एक्सप्रेस कंसर्न दैट स्क्रीनिंग एंड क्वारंटीन फैसिलिटीज फॉर पैसेंजर्स एट एयरपोर्ट्स एंड द तफ्तान बॉर्डर विद ईरान वर वीक व्हिच हैज लेड टू कोरोना वायरस केसेस इमर्जिंग इन द प्रोविंस Political activist Mehmood Kashmiri has said that the people in Pakistan administered Kashmir have no freedom and they continue to live in an atmosphere of fear. He expressed concern over the effects of terrorism and radicalization on the local population in the illegally occupied region. Chairman of Jammu and Kashmir National Independence Alliance, Mehmood Kashmiri has said that the people in Pakistan administered Kashmir have no freedom and they continue to live in an atmosphere of fear. 
The political activist who was in Geneva for the UNHRC session expressed anger and concern over the effects of terrorism, radicalization on the local population in the illegally occupied region. He also accused Pakistani intelligence agencies of trapping youth in the region in a cycle of terrorism. There is nothing in our opinion. There is no way Pakistan has been lent up to us. There is no way that Pakistan has been lent up to us. There is no way that Pakistan has been lent up to us. There is no way that Pakistan has been lent up to us. There is no way that Pakistan has been lent up to us. And in this country, there are very few people who are lent up to us. And when they are lent up to us, the security agencies of Pakistan Political activists have for long blamed that the people of Pakistan administered Kashmir are denied even basic fundamental rights and are meted out with severe brutality for voicing their concerns. Moving on, government teachers held a protest in the illegally occupied region of Gilgit Baltistan demanding revision of their pay scale. The protesters blamed the stooged authorities under Pakistan government have never done anything for their welfare. Scores of government teachers recently held a protest in the illegally occupied region of Gilgit, Baldistan, demanding revision of their pay scale. The protesting teachers said they were promised increase in allowances and restoration of time scale by the Chief Minister of Gilgit, Baldistan in November last year. However, the bureaucracy has kept on delaying the process. <laughs> जो देगर पाकिस्तान के चारों सुबों में पे दे चुके हैं, वो दो मुतालिबात थे, एक सर्वे सिटेक्चर, दूसरा ग्राट ऑफ हायर टाइम स्केल, ये दोनों सीएम साहब ने मान लिए थे, लेकिन सीएम साहब के मानने के बावजूद आज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ने इसको पीछे दिखाई दिया। the protesters blame the stooge government in the region, which works at Islamabad's behest, has never allowed implementation of any policies for their welfare. अब बोले हम क्या करें? हर इन प्रोफेसर्स लेक्चरर्स एसोसिएशन के साथ या लेक्चरर्स के साथ कोई भी प्रमोशन कोई भी प्रिविलेज हो बगैर शोर शराबे के नहीं हुआ है हम चाहते हैं कि एक मैकेनिज्म बने उस मैकेनिज्म के जरिए से हमें रोड पे ना लाएं the teachers highlighted they are already not paid salaries at par with their counterparts in other parts of Pakistan. They said they will continue protests until their demands are met. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has said that the next government will demonstrate the will of the entire people of Afghanistan. His statement comes amid a political deadlock in the country as both Ghani and political rival Abdullah Abdullah declared themselves presidents, further plunging the war-torn country into political crisis. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani on Thursday said, that the next government will demonstrate the will of the entire people of Afghanistan and he does not want the political power to be someone's inheritance. Ghani's statement comes amid a political deadlock in the country following the announcement of the presidential election results on February 18th. Ghani and his mainstream political rival Abdullah Abdullah had on March 9th sworn in themselves as presidents in competing inauguration ceremonies held just meters apart in capital Kabul. Ghani on Wednesday in a decree announced the ending of the chief executive's office, while Abdullah rejected Ghani's decree and branded him as a former president. Meanwhile, Abdullah welcomed a move by the United Nations to settle the ongoing political stalemate in the country when he met UNEMA chief Tadamichi Yamamoto on Thursday. The international community has, however, publicly acknowledged Ghani's inauguration and called for unity between the two. Hardline Islamist Taliban had banned women from education work during their 1996-2001 rule in Afghanistan. Today, defying tradition, women in Kabul drive zero carbon mobile food cards, a job which is rarer in a conservative society like Afghanistan. Thirty-year-old Maria Mohammadi drives a solar-powered food cart and serves dairy and food to Afghans on the streets of capital Kabul, a job which is rarer in a conservative society like Afghanistan. Mohammadi joined Banu's Kitchen, 
a business that is employing dozens of women in a traditionally male-dominated profession two months ago. She is the breadwinner for her family and wants lasting peace in Afghanistan. Mohammadi expressed concern about a possible return to power by the hardline Islamist Taliban, who banned women from education, work or leaving the house without a male relative during the 1996-2001 rule. کاری کاری خوب برای ما مهم تر است اونا کار کنیم زندگی ما پیشرفت میکنه دیگه ام طالبا که چیز نگوی خود ما در کار خود ادامه میتیم طالبا در کار خانم ها هیچ وقت غرز نگیره که خانم ها و مرد ها فرق نمیکنه کار کنه بانوز کچن رکشاز بزنس واس فاوندد بای 27 یر اول فرحاد وجدی هی ناو امپلایز 50 ویمن رننگ 25 فوت گارز ان کابل هی سیم is to expand it all over the country to provide job opportunities for more women. The Afghan society were uh, stigmatizing uh, Afghan women and they excluded Afghan women from socioeconomic opportunities. So I thought that Afghan women comprise a big fraction of, of Afghan population. So why shouldn't we utilize them? Why shouldn't we encourage them to, to do business and to, uh, to feel equal and to uh, you know, do business? Uh, Taliban, with whom the United States signed a troop withdrawal agreement recently for peace, say they have changed and will allow women to work. However, women like Mohammadi hope that Taliban does not interfere in their work. The Sri Lankan government has announced the closure of schools nationwide from Friday to stop children and parents from panicking, just after the country reported its first confirmed coronavirus case. The Sri Lankan government on Thursday announced the closure of schools nationwide to stop children and parents from panicking just after the country reported its first confirmed coronavirus case. The closures will take effect from Friday until the Sinhala and Tamil New Year holidays end on April 20th, Minister of Education and Sports told media during a news conference. According to government officials in Sri Lanka, the first confirmed case was a tour guide who had recently come into contact with a group of Italian tourists. The <laughs> अनपेक्षित बिया वर्धनीय वीम वलक्वागनी में आरम्भ मूली का करेंगे न तमाई आप ही निवाड़ उकाले कालिंग आरंभ कराना तीर्थ दुगरी पेरेंट्स आउटसाइड अ स्कूल इन कैपिटल कोलंबो सेड दे सपोर्टेड द गवर्नमेंट्स डिसीजन हिंदी कट में है पे वायरस में में वायरस है व्याप्त हुए न वो नंगे का चरा होंदा दे होंदा � the government has also requested the public not to panic and stockpile goods from supermarkets and other retail shops due to fears triggered after some rumours of conducting house-to-house -house quarantines to detect coronavirus carriers. Meanwhile, Sri Lankan government has decided to temporarily suspend the on-arrival visa facility for foreign tourists until further notice as a measure to control the spread of coronavirus in the country. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. Indian Prime Minister Modi calls on SARC to fight coronavirus. People in Pakistan administered Kashmir live in atmosphere of fear, says activist. And Afghan President Ghani says next government will represent entire nation. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night.